Good afternoon to you. Welcome back to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you've had a fabulous weekend. Guys, it's the first day of fall. It's my anniversary and it is, my car was registering 95 degrees. It's actually showing to be around 90 right now. Yes, that's supposed to cool down over the next week. Like a week from now, we're supposed to be in the 70s. That's more like it. But today, we're in the 90s. Hey, whatever. <laughs> we'll miss this in January. I know we don't think we will, but we always do. We always do. So listen, I want to talk to you about a few things. First of all, I want to thank you so much for all the kind remarks and <laughs> um, comments and whatnot. I posted a couple pictures of James and I going out yesterday. We, we lived it up, buddy. We've lived it up. We went to the Lodge store. I've put up another cast iron video for you. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Had a lot of fun. Kind of drove around. We love going to Sevierville. Um, that's really where my deepest documented um, Tennessee roots are first sort of show up in terms of documentation uh, is actually in Sevierville. It actually wasn't Sevierville at the time, but you get the point. So uh, we go back to pre-statehood, baby. So we love going up there and um, having a good time. And we ate at the Golden Corral. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I was like, let's just do this. He was like, okay. So we did, and we loved it. We had a great time. So there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about today. We're going to get a, back into the to some subjects. But I let me tell you how I'm going to approach this this time, darling. Okay? Okay? I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm not going to, I, I'm going to try my best to not make statements because when I do that or I give my opinion, see, that makes me a racist. So I'm just going to, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, it's on, it's, it, guys, the comment section and the fireworks that are going off right now are, is just sick. It just shows you again, Donald Trump is winning. Uh, will he take office? I hope so, but uh, I'm not. I'll be. I'm really concerned about it, to be honest with you. The desperation is so real. Okay. So anyway, so I'm gonna ask questions because I'm a dummy, and I'm a racist. That's what they're saying. Um, I should be charged with something or or whatever and, and questioned because I've posed questions or talked about subjects that the rest of the world's talking about too uh, on my YouTube channel. Yeah, right. So because I don't live in Ohio, I'm not allowed to talk about Springfield. Sounds like some people are concerned. Those are the people you should look into the most, right? I think so too, right? Right. So I guess if you live, say, in Indiana, you shouldn't be concerned about what anybody in Tennessee is doing, right? Or if you live in New York, you shouldn't talk about anything that's going on in Ireland. Or if you live in Florida, you better not have a, you better not be, you best not be having no conversation about nothing going on in California. You're not allowed to. You know, I had a lady say all this to me. And uh, I actually extended an offer to her. Uh, she claims, now again, this could be a fake account. Remember, I want to let you know, don't forget this, that most of the time when you see a lot of comments now, I would say more than half the comments on YouTube alone, I'm really serious, they're either fake accounts or bots, AI all, it's it's just it's just not real, and I think that's happening. I know that's happening on Facebook because I've already ran a bunch of tests on that on my own little um, page. And you can put something up, and you can watch people suddenly these these voices come out, and then suddenly, just like here on YouTube, it's like they have like twenty that follow them that agree with them. All of a sudden, it's like where do these people like? There's no time for the comment to sit and for there to logically be over the next. 5, 10, 24, 48 hours for a couple people to trickle in and add commentary to it. It's immediate. It's all fake, y'all. It's all fake. But anyway, I told this woman who said she said she lived in Springfield, so I can't talk about it because I don't live there um, or have questions or nothing, I guess. Um, I actually offered to come up and interview her. 
I did. I told her, I, I asked her where, I looked up and said, do you live near here by chance? Well, I'll buy you a pizza. And you. why don't you tell me all about it? I'll interview you and your life experience in Springfield. And then maybe we'll ask other locals as well, because what you're saying is not what I'm hearing. And well, she, I told her to email me and everything. Haven't heard a darn tootin' word from her. I'm still waiting. Just like with the video I put up almost two weeks ago, I have yet to have a, a single solitary person explain to me Kamala's joyful um, policies or pol any policy for that matter, um, and any of these content creators that are are you know, up her rear, I have yet for them to explain anything too. I, I'm just not seeing it. Isn't the election in like six or seven weeks? Early voting is already starting and we don't know this woman's platform other than joy and an opportunity economy. Um, I, we, we don't know. So I have a couple of questions that I'm going to throw out there and I'm actually going to, I'm going to ask you if this is true. Have you heard this? Do you know? Can you help me? Now, I know that there is a channel, and I know he's got a new video or two up since I've listened last, so I apologize. So my questions might be answered already. Um, empty, is it Empty Pockets Garage, comma, James? Good solid name there, buddy. I love it. I love it. Um, he is putting out a lot of content. He lives there. He has a YouTube channel. Check it out and listen to what he's saying. He seems to be very fair and balanced. I mean, he's talking about what he sees and what he knows and what he hears, and then he has questions too. But like I said, I think he's put up a live stream and another video over the last 24 plus hours. I have, I haven't listened to him yet, so I apologize in advance. I'll get on with it soon. I've been celebrating uh, an anniversary, 27 years of marriage this weekend. So I had a little downtime and a little celebration time with my sweetheart. Okay, let me grab my, com my, my computer because I'm going to read something to you, at least some of it. And I want you to tell me if it's true um, or if you can see, you know, what do you think about it? And there are other articles about this. This is the one that was sent to me first the other day. Remember my friend that lives outside of Atlanta? Hang on a minute. Uh, my friend that lives outside of Atlanta, he sent this to me and he was like, have you seen this? Apparently it had just come out. And this is from Zero Hedge. So you may not like Zero Hedge, okay? You may think that they're as racist as I am because I'm asking questions because not only am I concerned about American citizens, about our economy, <clears throat> wrongdoings to people in general, but... Several people have said to me, really ugly people, have said that I wouldn't be asking questions or have a problem with any of this if it were white people. Okay, whatever you say. See, they don't want to talk about the fundamentals of these issues, in my opinion, because number one, they're ignorant. They don't know it. They just want to, they're, they're just like sheeple. They, they, they just go and do what, okay, uh, yes, I, oh, yes, I will do what I'm told. Uh, don't ask any questions. Don't give any information. Just tell them they're racist. See, all right. Personally, I will tell you, um, I would be just as concerned if these folks were from the Ukraine, from Russia, from Smurf land. Uh, I, I wouldn't care because this should not be happening. Okay, our country, in my opinion, our economy, in my opinion, cannot handle the influx of migration that we have seen. Illegal and legal. I think we're at a tipping point here, folks. I've said this before. <clears throat> I'm standing by it. If I were president for a day, uh, I would do my best to end all immigration. Those that are in the system legally to process through however they need to get through, those will remain, but the cutoff is today, and I would suspend that uh, indefinitely for right now because when you can't feed and house your own people, how is it we're feeding and housing somebody else's people? Color has nothing to do with that, okay? Because the American people, which are white, which are native, meaning they are American Indian, meaning they are also black, meaning they are also Chinese. Pick it. It's all here. And if they are bona fide American citizens, they are all being hurt because our country, our economy can't even control itself, much less take care of, I mean, 
I'll shut up. Here's the question. So this came out on the 19th, so just a couple of days ago. I'll put the link down below. You're welcome to read it for yourself, okay? I'll put it in the description at the bottom, and I'll, I'll even pin it for you in the pinned comment. So I'm just going to read this. I'm asking if this is true. He's taking my people, alleged murder for hire plot in, is it Charler Charleroi? Uh, reveals migrant labor mules. Now that's in Pennsylvania, right? The Charler Charleroi. That's how I would pronounce that. If I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. I'm from Tennessee. We say things how we want to down here. Okay, Springfield, Ohio and Charleroi, Pennsylvania are three and a half hours apart from Interstate 70, along Interstate 70, excuse me. Yet both towns are suffering from a massive influx of Haitian migrants dumped by the federal government. They are. <clears throat> are they? Well, oh, question, are they? According to separate reports, read here so you can read here on, in, the, in the article, staffing agencies in these towns are operating a complex, mysterious van network, ferrying the migrants from their homes which some are stuffed in like cattle to local factories. On Wednesday, former WSJ reporter Azra Nomani revealed that in Springfield, the activity, excuse me, the actual story in the small town overwhelmed by Haitians is not about cats and dogs. Who else has said that? I think I said that the other day. That sounds kind of racist though, doesn't it? It's about a complex hidden human trafficking network <clears throat> operated by some staffing companies. Numani said just about every week since 2019, 2019, I said that, 2019, first diversity staffing group. Let me repeat that. First Diversity Staffing Group, Inc., that's incorporated, has shuttled vulnerable Haitian migrants in unmarked white Ford and Chevy vans from Florida to Ohio, where they are allegedly exploited for cheap labor by companies like Dole Food Company, Inc., adding it is secretive and sinister operation that has gone unchecked for over five years. Now, I'm going to stop reading it right there. I'm going to link it so you can read the rest. There are also videos linked with this article showing the vans, people driving around showing locations. Uh, Tyson is actually in this as well. So I'm going to put that down below at the bottom of the... Um, I'll put the link down at the, it's a zero hedge. You can go look it up yourself if you don't look at my link. So it's right there. Uh, all of it's right there. You can read it for yourself. So how do you feel about that? So let me ask you, how do you feel about us having a discussion about cats and dogs and fighting and being 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 name calling each other and accusing people of things they're not doing when all the while the discussion as i said before on my short the other day i'm questioning what is this about i'm questioning who is at fault i'm questioning why is this continued to happen we also have reports now or do we have reports i should say do we have reports now of this happening in other places i mean i know that i'm getting comments here on my channel that it's starting to pop up obviously we know about alabama and obviously, Indiana has been, obviously, I uh, mentioned that before, Indiana is developing an issue. So is this really about these people in, and in terms of who or what they are and their color? Well, I will tell you when you, when you, in, when you push or allow all of these people who do not share our values, our culture, our heritage, whether they're good or bad or not, it's going to cause problems. This is everywhere around the world. That's not a racist question or comment. That is truth in a lot of ways. If I went over to a foreign country and I started, you know, just enforcing my culture and heritage everywhere on everybody, they might have a problem with that. I've always thought that if I went and lived somewhere, I would have to try to adapt to what they do. But, you know, what do I know? So long story short, what's your thoughts on this? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So... 
human slavery is basically what's being thrown around uh, in the context of that article. Um, and I still want to know, by the way, let me ask this question too. Where are the 320,000, I said 300,000 just in jest, but it's 320 plus. Where are the 300, 320,000 migrant children that nobody has been able to find? That's been coming in over the last three, two, three, four years. Nobody's been able to really, really, I mean, we all have guesses. I know I have my, we have opinions and thoughts too, but nobody that would hate me asking that question can answer it or will they answer it? So therefore, again, they deflect it. They turn around and deflect and call me names and call you names. I don't care what color these children are. I want to know where they are and what they're being used for because they're babies. These people right here, what are they being used for? Are they being used? Who is using them? And who is it the, what is the state? Should we follow the money? Is that, is that what we're saying? Is that kind of what this is alluding to? I mean, you can read the article. It goes much deeper into all kinds of things about the factories and there's a murder plot in here and everything. It's deep. You should read it. So I definitely think you should read it. But I want, when you do, tell me your thoughts. Okay. So I don't really, we know it, it's interesting to me that a lot of people will sit and rant about women, women's rights and women, and you should trust her. Well, what about Tara Reid? Didn't she work for Joe Biden? What happened to her? Where is she now? What happened I'm still waiting. Nobody's talking about that. So, so where are the 320,000 or so migrant? We'll call them migrant. They're babies. These are children. Okay. Where are they? What are they doing? What are they being used for? Okay. Why? Where? Some, can somebody tell me in terms of the Haitians? Th there's a lot of women in that too. So if they're, if these women are being used for labor or who knows what, by companies, by a government, by, th isn't that going against women's rights? So shouldn't we be exploring that? And I really don't care. Like I've told you before, I don't give a care what, what you say in terms of, well, this is going to ruin your narrative because these, these politicians that you, that could be doing this and this and this, well, they're Republicans. <clears throat> Whoever is at fault for any of this should be exposed. 2024, as Cat Williams told you, is the year that the truth will start to be revealed. I think we're starting to see it. As I told you before, I don't consider myself a member of the Republican Party. I consider myself an American who wants to do the best that she can to help our country. I want our country to be peaceful. I want your children and I want you and I want your children especially to be safe and successful. I don't care what color they are. Okay. Because the truth of the matter is folks, if you and your ancestry <clears throat> anywhere for that matter in everywhere around the world with a few exceptions we're all mixed bloods okay and I'm not going to go over my DNA and my documentation and my ancestors with you again and again and again because people don't care they don't care if I have native ancestry just like they don't care if you do they don't care if I have black ancestry just like you might people don't care about that this is about about a political agenda and a globalist movement to tear this country down because we are the last frontier. You better be upholding your right to speak and your right to bear arms because that is the only wedge between us and in terms of keeping somewhat at bay what you are watching unfortunately happen across the pond to people all across Europe. Ask them. Don't ask me. Go ask them. Also, like I said, be sure to go watch um, the channel, like I said, Empty Pockets Garage, and uh, not only listen to what he has to say, good, bad, or indifferent, but also read the comments. Make sure you check out the comments, okay? Be careful of what you think is AI. Be careful what you think might be fake, but there's a lot of people really hammering down on a lot of stories that le lead to a lot of a lot more questions in terms of what I just read to you, okay? And this might shed some light on that because the truth will always rise to the top.
It has no agenda. Sometimes it takes a day for the truth to be revealed. Sometimes it takes years. And where are we going to be when we learn the truth? Right? So that's your homework assignment. Let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy? Probably. You know, that's the way they want to paint you. And that's the way they want to paint me. So I'm just going to ask questions. And I'm going to let you tell me. And if this is wrong, justify why it's wrong. Say why it's wrong. Have proof that it's wrong. I'm still waiting on a policy. And I'm still waiting to find out where the 320,000 babies went. That's right. Still waiting. Let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. Woo, it's getting hot in here. Woo, that's right. Have a great Sunday evening. A lot of videos coming up your, coming your way, coming up your alley. <laughs> coming up on the channel. Lots of questions. I have a lot of questions, and I will continue to absolutely share those questions with you. And by the way, do you think that we should expose the people that think that we should be like, people like me and people like you that want to know what the truth is and ask questions and want to care for human beings regardless of who they are and take care of our people and have a safe, productive country, love our babies, protect the children, be lawful and be caring. Do you think we should be investigated? Should we, do we need to, do we need to turn over the people saying that we should and let you judge whether or not these people are right or not? I mean, there's definitely some channels out there talking about it. I really want to stand for, you know, what's right and what's peaceful, but I'm not going to be intimidated either. I'm just not. So I'll just ask the question. So if you have the answer, please let us know. I'll be waiting. I will. I love you. Guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Pray, prepare, and most definitely be peaceful because it is very obvious that there are so many entities out there in the spiritual warfare that we are in. All they want to do is piss people off. They want us divided. They want to cause us to fight because it, it allows for a higher agenda. Question also, when you hear these things and you see these people talk like this, ask them who they work for. They won't tell you, but you should ask questions. Mm -hmm. Guys, I love you. It's hot in here. I'll see you in the next video.